I switch on channel nine. <laughs> and then I get my current affair. <laughs> now I know it's called a current affair, but by the time you finish watching, they made it your problem. <laughs> so it's my current affair. Tracy Grimshaw. Seen more personality in a brick. And they will address these issues, critical issues in Australia, right? critical issues. And what, what, what baffles me is they have these, these presenters who are just like, you know, these presenters, journalists, whatever, they're just dying to take on the story and they're just, you know, dying to hit the streets and target people. And it's, I'm just like, really, is that like your passion? You know, just to like ruin people's days, just like officers, you know, when they come past on a Friday afternoon and be like, oh, really, five minutes over parking, all right, that'll be 75 bucks. I was laughing at someone else the other day who got, that's fine, and then I got back to my car and I was like, what's this raffle ticket, yeah? <laughs> so, no beers tonight. So, we'll have Tracy, and, and, and she's all prepared, she's got the whole of the Channel 9 team, she's got like, the guy on the microphone, someone taking notes, someone who's briefed her on everything, they've got the whole squad, like nine people, Channel 9, there they go, oof, down the streets, and they're charging up, and they wrap themselves in a circle around Gary. Some random guy. And Gary's just like, oh my, oh my. You know? Sorry, Gary, Gary, do you have a minute? Just, just like to, to Tracy from uh, Channel 9, just like, to, uh, just like to talk to you for a second. Oh, Gary doesn't actually have a choice because he's got the whole squad wrapped around him. He kind of is stuck there. Yeah, so Gary, we, we know everything that you've been up to uh, recently. Yeah. Going on over to Mrs. Juniper's house at 2.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. Thought you could uh, get away with a bonsai tree, huh? Hmm? Do, do you think that's how we behave in Australia, Gary? Do think, you think that's really fair? Going on over uh, with the bonsai trees and to take them back? Do you know, Gary, the current market rate for a bonsai tree? <laughs> Gary's just like, come on, like. <laughs> He's just probably when I got a little bit, you know, on the bottle with his mate, just like, ah, oh, let's go to Miss Juniper. He's always complaining about sound, or just probably take a bonza. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a bonza. <laughs> <laughs> and Current Affair does so well. Because by the end of the show, you know everything about a bonsai tree. <laughs> the history of the bonsai tree. The whole thing, but then more importantly, you know everything about Mrs. Juniper and how damaged her whole extended family has been <laughs> by, by the utter devastation that this bonsai tree is now gone. And then they recap a week later, and she's got about 65,000 bonsai trees on her doorstep <laughs> from every single glorified land, land, uh, landscaper in, in Australia. Now donated a, a bonsai tree. It's fantastic. And I think to myself, if those are the kind of issues I need to deal with here, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs>